Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to print and press Gildan 18,000 sweatshirts. If you've tried them, you might have run into some problems and there are some things you need to know in order to maximize the quality of your print. And I mean, that's what we're all looking for, right? We want high quality prints for our customers. So they give us five star reviews. They're thankful and we want to serve our customers appropriately, right? So let's get to it. Okay, so this is a Nap Queen sweatshirt I have printed. It is on a Gildan 18,000 forest green sweatshirt. Now, if you try to print these normally, like you do a t-shirt and heat press it with your normal temperatures, it's gonna come out really bad. I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but before that, sometimes when you are printing on these sweatshirts, if you're printing a lot of ink on them, because you wanna print a lot of ink on them, <clears throat> You'll notice that the ink kind of pools up a little bit because it's a lot of ink. And with these printers, if you're into DTG, you know that not all your prints come out equal. Like the quality can vary a little bit, right? We gotta try to keep the head, uh, the heads clean and everything else. But even doing that, sometimes we'll get some prints that don't come out quite as good. And you don't want to be ruining sweatshirts. So I always say a little more, a little extra is better than messing up a sweatshirt. So I always print these with my white layer and then it back in with a highlight layer of around 50 to 60 percent now it's not very often but sometimes i will get a little bit of ink pulled up and you might run into that too now you don't want to lift up the shirt when it's pulled up like that because it can melt down the shirt so um i've only had that happen to me once so it is rare but i always think it's best what you want to do is just get a hair dryer and just make sure if there's any pulled up looking ink that looks wet just blow dry it for a minute until it's no longer wet looking. And then we can take it to our heat press. Okay, so I've got the sweatshirt here on my heat press. Now, the settings you want on your heat press are as follows. Now, this is what I do and my prints come out great. I set the temperature to 280 degrees. The time, 125 seconds. You wanna do two presses. You wanna make sure that it's very light pressure on the heat press. What happens with these is the dye in these Gildan sweatshirts, when you have it under too hot of a, or too high of a heat, it will actually migrate the dye from the sweatshirt into the graphic. So the graphic doesn't look white anymore. It looks like it's the color of the shirt. So it turns, in this case, would be green. Maroon is the worst. I've never, I can't get good prints out of maroon at all. Just don't even bother with maroon Gildan sweatshirts. Use like an independent trading co or a different brand or something. But yeah, the, I can get the rest of these to work. Even using these settings, they still don't come out 100% perfect like I would like them, but they still look good. So I'll show you. Let's go ahead and press this at two times at 280 degrees for 125 seconds each. Okay, so I just got done with my two presses. Just remember you want a light pressure, very light pressure on here. You don't want to make it real tight like you do on some of your shirts maybe. Yeah, just a light pressure. Should come out nice and clean. All right. And if it ever feels like it needs a little more like this one actually, it had a lot of ink on it. I might do one more press, but you can always just do another press. Okay, but as you can see, I mean, it came out pretty solid. Um, it laid a nice thick layer of ink down and yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like there's hardly any migration, if any at all. So I'm very happy with the way this print came out. Sometimes they don't come out quite this nice, just depending on how much ink is laid down on the shirt, but you should get, I mean, People still give five star reviews on these because I mean, it does, as you can tell, it looks good. Anyways, that's what you gotta do. So there it is, sweatshirt, ready to go. I can package that up and ship it out. Just remember those settings for your heat press and remember to do the extra highlight layer over the top of your underbase layer for the white ink and you should have a good solid print. The, I've tried, multiple different settings all the way down to 180 degrees just because I was playing with to see how the washability was. Uh, 280 was as low as I could really go while still maintaining good quality after being washed. After being washed, I didn't notice any degradation. So just something to keep in mind, don't go any lower than 280 degrees. I did the longer presses so that it gets more of that cook on it. But um, yeah, there you guys have it. So if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment down below. But it took me a long time 
Um, I've been printing for, gosh, a number of years now, and it took me a few years to really narrow in and get figured out how to get these sweatshirts. It bugged me for so long, I just didn't even print them for a while. But I was determined to figure it out, and this is what I came up with. And I mean, even talking to like some of the pre-treating professionals that sell the pre-treat solutions, they're just like, oh yeah, there's nothing you can do about those. And this works for me. So hopefully it works for you. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out.